Hey guys, what's up? It's Chief. Hope you're having a great holiday, Merry Christmas, whatever holiday you celebrate. I uh, hope it's great. Um, I've made my road trip almost a thousand miles back home. I'm in my brother's room. He's got a pretty awesome Transformers collection of G1 and Masterpiece figures. And I'm just going to go through right before I left home, the day before I left home, I got some Universal cases that I'm going to put some of my rarer games in that are really hard to, you know, financially to complete CIB. The person who turned me on to this, I got to give another shout out to my friend John from Scuba Diver Picker. Uh, he really turned me on to these Universal cases. So, John, Scuba Diver Picker, thanks, man, because the cases look great. And they're saving me a lot of money. It's actually the guy who I, I get these from, they're pretty much four dollars a piece to ship and everything which is cheaper than eBay universal cases so it's really nice and the first game I got up you guys already know I have this from a recent pickup video but uh Kirby Superstar eight games in one uh, the cases look great the games fit in pretty decently the photo paper looks nice it's not super super you know awesome but me collecting personally I like something that's going to look good on a shelf, and that looks pretty damn good on a shelf if Megatron doesn't want to knock them over. Next, another game, rare game I have that I don't think I've, I think I featured this in my Halloween episode, but Dracula X, Universal Case, the cart's inside, pretty decent condition, I don't drop it on the floor. Very happy to have that. Keeping on Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4. These cases look really, really good. Very, very good display cases. Um, they're clamshells, so you don't have to worry about, you know, messing up any of your cardboard when you go in to get your games out and stuff. Another great game, Super Metroid. Considered one of the best games on Super Nintendo. This is a really fun game. I haven't beat it or anything, but it's really, really cool. Final Fantasy 3, not a huge Final Fantasy fan, but this is a very, very classic Super Nintendo game, so I figured I must have the box. One of my favorite games, this and probably Mega Man X were the reason I wanted to actually buy a Super Nintendo, Contra 3, The Alien Wars. Um, again, this is one of the games my uncle had when I was a kid. Love playing this, one of my most sought after games on Super Nintendo. Got it very early after I bought my system. Um, very happy to have it, had to have the box for a game like this. And the last one, another game you already knew I had, but it's really hard to find the box for this. I've had offers of people wanting to sell it to me, but it's ludicrous offers of $600, which isn't even worth the condition they're in. Uh, guys on forums, other places, call them uh, near mint and stuff, even though they had rips in them, and still try to charge me 600 bucks for them, which I think is fucking stupid. And to the people like that, resellers like that, that want to just like sell things because... You have an earthbound box that you think will sell good because it's just earthbound and even though it's not in great condition you want to call it mint and it's still got rips in it um suck a dick seriously that's ludicrous don't ever i've said that before don't pay a lot of money for earthbound um chances are if you want that game i've actually heard rumors of nintendo doing another re-release of it which might either do one of two things make earthbound more sought after on hard disk but usually what we tend to see with things like Marvel vs. Capcom and stuff in the past has actually driven the price of those games down once other people can get their hands on it. So if you want an Earthbound card, you might actually be in luck if Nintendo actually does re-release um, the Mother Collection um, in America as a digital download or even just a hard disk, maybe Wii, Wii U game. Uh, since I've been here, I've actually gone game hunting with my brother at a local retro store. A lot of the things they had there... I think that store runs a lot off nostalgia value, so a lot of your Mario's, Castlevania, stuff like that, um, JRPGs tend to run pretty high, but, and a lot of like your notoriously bad games that the internet has made famous um, run pretty high, but a lot of your hidden gems there are still just considered regular games, so they sell them very, very cheaply. I found a great deal on quite a bit of stuff that are great games, rare games, that people don't pick up but um the first one being super turrican 
actually picked this up for free because they had a buy three, get one free. So Turkin was the game I got free, but even if I would have paid for this, it would have only been $8. So this is a very good game that for 8 bucks I wouldn't mind picking up anyway. The next one, which is one of my most sought-after games that I've had ever since I've started collecting, um, this game is super hard to find. I think Nintendo Age rates this game an 8 out of 10 on a rarity scale. Uh, every time I find this game on eBay, I've only seen one go for pretty cheap, and it was $22. I lost that bid just because I backed out because it was card only, and I wanted it CIB at the time. But now I'm trying to get away from CIB collecting and just get into the universal cases, maybe some instruction booklets to games I really like, and just use the, the universal cases as a way to protect my games and get them displayed nicely. But um, the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang is a cool top-down, like, action game somewhere in the likes of a link to the past um where you play as a little vampire kid and like fight like garlic and stuff it's very very fun looking i haven't played it yet but this game like i said i think i'm almost positive nintendo age rates this game an 8 out of 10 um on the rarity scale it's a very very obscure hard to find game and since the store i was at was mainly looking at cashing in on like what i call almost like the poser crowd of like retro collecting just playing because it's old and you think like old games are cool to play a lot of people that don't aren't educated on things they kind of cater to that crowd gems like this get priced low because they really don't know about them um this game was ten dollars ten dollars for a card only which is the cheapest i've ever seen one go for on ebay was 22 most of them sell between 35 45 somewhere's up in between 60 just for cards CIBs I see go for around 100 to 130. Um, $10 for this game. The fact that I even found it was amazing. The fact that it was only 10 bucks was even better. So I'm very very glad. Um, some resellers just look at the hype and nostalgia and don't really look into hidden gems or know what they have. Turrican and this were great pickups for the prices I paid for them. The other two games, like I said, it was buy three get one free. So. Um, like from my other videos, I'm a huge fan of this series. I don't know much about the PlayStation ones, but judging from the backs and stuff like that, some gameplays I've seen online, they look really nice. The Mega Man X series, uh, Mega Man X4. As you know, I got X and X3 that I talk about all the time on Super Nintendo. But this was only $12. I was wondering why it was $12, because there was two of these. And the other one was in way worse condition, had a faded label, the jewel case was cracked in the back. It didn't look that great. And then I realized when I got it home that I never saw this is the greatest hits green label, um, which I really don't care about because this, this game was in much, much better condition than the case, um, the black label. And the black label was more expensive. It was around 18 And this was only $12. Um, I know you can switch out jewel cases and stuff, but again, the book looked like it was like sunburned and faded. It didn't look very good, and it didn't look like it would display well. So I don't mind having a green label just because I wanted to play the game, but it looks really nice. The next one I got is Mega Man X5. This is actually a black label, too. Again, the gameplay looks really cool. Um, and again, I also bought this. This is a black label one. I bought this one for 12 also, which uh, I'm very happy to have. These games look like I'm going to have a lot of fun with them. And everything and also means I've completed my Mega Man X collection X through X5 and I know what you're thinking that um, if you know me well I've always wanted X2 and everything but thankfully my birthday's in a couple days Christmas is tomorrow and my brother actually got me Mega Man X2 for my birthday and Christmas so this cards in pretty good condition it needs a little bit of cleanup got a bit of sticker residue sticker residue bleh. And it's got somebody's initials etched into it, which I'll have to deal with. Um, I would really like to pick up an actual box for this game with a guide. But for now, I might just order one of those $4 universal cases and put it on the shelf and make it look nice. So Mega Man X is one of my favorite th you know, series to collect. And now I have X through X5, which is great. Um, I don't know if I want to go much past that because I hear they start getting pretty bad around 7 and up. But... Um, I'm, I'm super glad where I'm at right now with my Mega Man X collection. Um, super glad to have X2, as Bug just hit me in the face. Uh, 
is one of my most, probably my most sought after game at the moment. My brother actually got it for me. And pretty much behind X2 was Spike McFing. I wanted this game so bad. So going retro hunting, didn't spend much at all. Like I said, it was buy three, get one free. Um, I also picked up, the store had a special going on that day. Uh, buy one comic book, get the other one free. So I, f I put two more into my Maximum Carnage collection that I found there. These are the only two there. I didn't have either one of them, which was great. So retro hunting was pretty good. Don't know if I'll do a lot of it uh, with my break here in Illinois. But um, hopefully this is a new cool setting. The Transformers make an awesome backdrop as opposed to my game collection. That's what my brother likes to do is collect. Uh, he games, but he likes to collect uh, G1 Transformers and stuff like that. So... Happy holidays again, guys, and I really appreciate you watching. See ya.